G'day guys, it's TTX Raven here doing his intro from his gaming channel for some reason. Today on our tech channel we have got my good friend Big Mix, brand new Rampage 3 Gene mainboard. Um, as you can see, it's Windows 7 ready. <laughs> Sorry, that's just funny. Um, the, as you, the word Rampage tells us that it's a 1366 motherboard which is more for performance rather than my 1155 and as it says here it's a 1366 can't really read it though yeah now bitch um, supports i7 supports i7 it's an x58 chipset which I'm pretty sure that's the only one it supports yeah, SLI nice. and Crossfire other things on the outside of the box is just words barcodes words words let's check the underside it has all the general information about the board and a rather big bulge. I didn't notice that. ROG Connect. Now this is um you can use the Bluetooth of your iPhone and stuff like that to overclock your no, computer. No, that's with the um extreme. This one is like USB to. Oh, so the extreme has the Bluetooth. This one here is just USB. So yeah. we could if you use a second laptop or something, you can overclock yeah. your computer with that while it's in the OS, right? We gotta do that. Yeah, we have to try that. It's got Game First, which is just um some programs that. Disable and enable a couple of features to give you the best experience in the game. And Supreme FX X, uh, X Fire 2 built. Yeah, that's for landing. Oh, they're not landing, but internet. And oh, so this is that. for networking. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So. But you, you see this, how it's got this metal cover over the um, Supreme S Sci Fi. Or don't uh, go in close. Yeah. Um, it's like really This cover bad. here is just covering up a completely different chip. It's actually a creative. But they've just got the sci-fi software, which is still good. Okay, that bulge is weird. And that's about all on the outside of the box. And of course, they put some more in the inside. But it's just, it's got the um, ROG Cabelt. Probit, which is um, checkpoints so you can check the voltages of all your stuff better. CPU level up, which is just an instant up um, overclock if you want if you don't want to do it manually. Some more information on the Supreme Effects and Game First. and comes with Kaspersky, which is a lot better because most of the Swiss boards come with Norton, and I don't like Norton. If we open it up, there's your first glimpse of the motherboard. Oh my god, for some reason that clip's undone. And if I take that off, and then I'll move the motherboard aside. As you can see, it's an MATX build. So that's, Yeah, good that's, for landing. That's the point of the gene. And inside we have a cable for the ROG Connect. Um, some SATA three two gig two SATA two three gigabytes cables and some SATA six SATA three six gigabytes. I got them all wrong. <laughs> and some more SATA two three gigs, and even more. That's awesome. Like how many mine hard have, drives do you need? Especially on an MATX build. I mean, mine only came with the four. And in here we have some cable ties. Um, the motherboards motherboard front panel plug-ins and a USB one and SLI bridge because this MATX board does support SLI which is brilliant the IO shield which looks sexy with this ROG symbol on it a user's manual which is always good in here we have the Rampage um, installs 3D you should get the latest drivers off your site and a case badge mm. and quick start guide which you should be using some cardboard my favorite kind of thing and a giant sexy case sticker which looks ridiculous I mean I don't really see how it would go fit on my case oh it'll fit on my fractal because that has a window yeah when that arrives okay so I'll put all the accessories back in the box so we've got the motherboard out of the box and if you remember my, our saber-tooth video um, had like a lot of shields it, over it. it's the saber-tooth video with all the shields can you move it a little bit thanks um, it was longer than the box, but this here is shorter than the box. So, if we move it around to the same uh, a proper orientation, which was already in the proper orientation, I just get confused by MATX because it's square. You can see that it's um, just got the bottom of it cut off, so everything else is just as wide. So, let's give you the tour. Starting off with these amazing heat sinks. These ROG heat sinks are absolutely gorgeous. Calling the um, MOSFETs over here and the Northbridge, which Okay, so it's got a plastic cover over that. I won't take that off yet. And then over here, it's got a really small chip over there. <laughs> That's really small. That's weird. It's for the Southbridge anyway. It's like 
not yeah. really. Do you remember anything. what the um, most power phasing was? Um, eight by I think. Okay, eight. So mine's eight plus two. So let's take that. So, on the board, let's start off in the same place that we did before. Up here, we've got the CPU four pin. But if you take this cap off, oh, we won't do that because um, it's not my motherboard. Um, it's eight pin for more power, and you want more power. Over here is the same 1366 chipset, which is a bit bigger than mine, and it's pretty awesome. I want a 1366 for performance rather than 1156, which is more just for general use. Okay, so there's no fan headers around here, but the CPU fan header is over here, just near the RAM. No, that's you only get annoying. one, and then there's another one over here. Um, just near the behind the IO shield. So that's that's still pretty adequate placement. Okay, and over here we have triple channel DDR3 memory with the same Ace Asus um, quick connect which oh well easy install which I actually think was harder. <laughs> this triple channel memory, this one, the red ones are going to be the first three and then the black mm -hmm. ones are next thanks to Asus being smart and going, okay, if you have a big heat sink, they might just give you that little centimeter extra. Okay, so up here, I've already pointed out this fan. We have a battery. I'm not sure what chip that is. I can't really read it. I think it's... I don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. Here's some power for the memory. Another CPU fan, because it's a 4-pin. 24-pin uh, connector. Um, over here, we have the SATA ports, where we have three SATA two three gigs and one say to three six, six gig <laughs> yeah. I can never think of that um, so as you can see you got all, with the accessories you got enough cables to k fit in every single one of these which is really rare over here we have some jumpers I don't know what they're doing there they'll chill out and just get up to mischief here's the front panel IO spot which is in the place it always is over here we have two USB 2.0's just here we have a reset and power switch and I'm pretty sure this is a memo key. Yeah it is. Because usually the memo key is over here but they don't have room on MATX. Over here we have bi the BIOS chip which is there which you can take off and run away and steal it. Um, another fan connector the uh, firewire and here's some optical, some audio and here's that supreme effects chip that I was telling you about. Like, if you flick this off, it's like you can see there that it's a bit wobbly. Like if you just take it off, because it's just glued on top of a different chip to show the software you're using. So that because it's a smaller board, there's not as much to show, but it has got the maximum amount of power that any micro ATX board can put out. This is if we turn it around this way, and move it back, get the light in, we can then show you the I.O. on the back. Down here. Down further. There you go. Over here we got just a single keyboard PS2 port with one, two, three, four, five, six USB 2s, uh, reset CMOS, a SPDIF optical audio. Here's a Firewire port. Oh, um, over here. Yeah, and a RJ45 LAN connector. Here's the ROG Connect button with the ROG Connect dedicated USB. I'm fairly yeah. sure this USB only works with ROG Connect, so don't plug anything into that. And two USB 3 ports, which it means that I get more. And over here we have um, the seven channels power, and you can just looking at these sockets, I can tell they're better quality than mine, which pretty much surprisingly, because it's such a small board, sums it all up except for the most important bit, PCI. Oh wow, you lost out here, bro. <laughs> okay. Well, these two are like sixteen bytes. No, I mean this one here used to be a times one on the two, didn't it? No, mm, no. Okay, so. What we have here for PCI ports is we have two PCI 16 times port with ports, which are wired for 16 times. So if you run SLI, it should be running in 1616. Yeah. And here we have a four times, which is great because um, there's a lot of RAID cards and um, sound cards that actually run on four times to be more powerful than one times. And over here we have a legacy PCI, which I'm a bit disappointed in. It would have been better to see just a PCI one times because. Um, but the good thing is you can choose which one to plug your video card in because you won't lose any frames per second at all plugging it into this one over this one. On mine I'd probably use lose about 0.6 of a frame which is important to me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so use this port if you don't need that because then you can plug a wireless card or if you're liquid cooling plug in 
this and then have a single port bracket on it so you can have your um, RAID or sound card. Don't know why you need a RAID card in an MATX build unless you're crazy. But yeah, there you go. That's pretty much all that I wanted to show you on the Rampage 3G. We might be doing some more videos with this thing later.